girls, this is Zephy from I'm Zephy and I love to scrap and today I'd like to share with you an album that I made on Ustream on Zephy Scraps uh, for a family member. I use basic grape curio papers and um, two pocket envelopes that were this green from, uh, let me just see the name, it's the mix and match, mix and mingle, lucky that um, this was stuff that my friend Kim had sent me, some envelopes, there was this packet and some others, some gatefold ones and um, these big envelopes, they have a fancy pocket, I'll show it to you now and um, then I used these uh, woodware craft envelopes with um, the gatefold card I used three of the cards and two envelopes. What I did is I cut off the one side of the card to um, use it for a spine and then I cut this edge with the border punches and then I stuck paper behind it so that I could have a pocket. Okay, And I extended the envelopes I extended the envelopes a little bit with the leftover piece that I've cut off here so that um, I don't punch into the envelope and make the envelope shallow because you need at least a centimeter for uh, the holes for the binder at all so then my envelope would have become very shallow and the card inside would have been a uh, narrow so I added a, a little spine onto the envelope too with the piece that remained okay um, like I say many albums um, morph they like to become what they want to be and not what you want them to be so you start off with an idea in your head and the end product is usually very very different well at least that's what happens with my minis um, so often I like to leave not often I always like to leave my last page my front page for last I like to see what's happened in the inside of the book and then I do the outside accordingly okay I knew I wanted this image on the front and I knew I definitely wanted this image on the back. These, these Both these images are off the 30 by 30 curio page. Um, I've used a Prima little branch for me to tie, to adhere my ribbon onto that um, holds the book closed. I've adhered um, this Prima branch down with hot glue and then as extra reinforcement I use these two pearl brads can you see so I punched holes into the paper put the brads on and then only then did I glue the paper onto the envelope I um, also hand sewed the little piece of lace onto there because there's some like anglaise over there so I thought that would be nice and then I added the lace to the covers too okay um, once I was ready to fix the front pages I realized that the green when I picked out the green I thought the green would go famously with with the bird and so forth can you see but once I used the pages I thought the green would look nice with that and but then once I started making it I went with this inspiration and so I used a lot of whitewashing kind of thing a very provincial kind of look so then the green no longer matched so what I did um, is I used my distress paints, my inks, and um, in fact I even mixed a color to get the salmon color. And then right at the end I sprayed it with the Perfect Pearls mist. This is just the Perfect Pearl one. It's just a very basic color. Really quite nice. So I've used, actually this paper is not basic grey, this is die cuts with a view. I just used this as a cover for the tag and this is just the chipboard. Um, all the chipboard I've used in this album is recycled from cereal boxes. It really, really works well with the distress stains. And then I just uh, put a piece of paper on the side that was printed, okay, on the smooth side of the, the chipboard. This pink paisley little accent works well over there. Um, it's the artisan elements from pink paisley. 
that I've used on the front and back tag. Okay, this is the front page. This is the tiny little element uh, from the basic gray out of print range. So this is now the first gatefold card. A little magnet there to hold it closed. As you can see, here's the, the, the end of the card, the craft. I just added some basic gray stuff there and added another page onto that. You can see this um, Puya range has a black distressed edge, which I just gessoed out. Put gesso around it to bring it to be white. And um, in here we have like a, a very small concertina envelope, a little file folder. I want that out. I want to show you something later on. And just a tab. Um, these pockets are made out of two envelopes. And I put them in vertically so that it opens like that so she can put photos on there. Um, just a little tab there. A collection of tags. That piece of foil is left over from my Christmas project which I actually still need to film. Hopefully I'll get that done this week. Uh, just a tag. Oops. Uh, just misting and stamping on the chipboard and very much the same on the last tag. Yeah. The Distress Stain really works well on the cereal chipboard. And that's paper from my misting box. Um, I, I love to recycle stuff, girls. I'm, I'm really not a very good consumer because I like to recycle things. I mean, why go and buy a cardstock when we've got so much um, boxes, so much packaging at home? Use that. Okay. So this is the next page is the envelope. As you can see, can you see the spine I added to it? I use the magnolia paper, um, opens up like this, I just sandwiched paper bit on the flap of the envelope, that's a die cut, um, round the edge of the envelope I thought I'll distress uh, emboss and I actually use the distress embossing powders on this one, but I wasn't really mad for it so the next one I did with gold um, embossing powders, I embossed it just to give it a little bit more um, uh, reinforcement because the die cut is quite flimsy on the end there so I thought I'll cover the edges with some embossing powder so it can be more secure and there's just two tags in there nothing um, ultra special okay um, the sticker elements from the ra range from the QA range I've just um, put on some brown cardstock then this paper I found too harsh. It was, I kept it out here. Can you see it was this paper here? And then I, I just felt that the green was too harsh. didn't match so I just put gesso over it. And I did the same for the other side. I just gessoed it. And um, I actually missed it a little bit too. You can't really see it. Then I've used a paper clip here. And I've secured a, a little crocheted flower that my friend Christina made me. I just so use the end pieces of the crocheting to so to tie it onto the paper clip. It's a huge paper clip, and then I just hot glued a flower on either side of it. So it's a, a double faced paper clip, uh, and that actually serves as a bit of metal for my magnet to stick on, so that the page can close. Okay, what I did here, this, this that's cut as a doily is actually the, the flap of the envelope that I just cut off. Okay, and then I've just mirrored it in here again. Fussy cut some of the magnolias. I've left some of them open like this. I haven't glued them so they can be 3D. This is the, the second envelope again. I've left um, a bit of space here. In fact, I'm actually going to put this in here so she can see it because she's not a scrapbooker. Okay, that's some Tim Holtz film strip. That's just a little swirl from a, a transparency. 
that are alcohol inked uh, a mini mini movers and shapers label and some flowers okay next envelope very basic you can see that's where I use the gold embossing powder and that's just a plain tab that's been cut with the on the edge die it didn't really take me so long to make this um, I find if you use one paper range to make a mini it, it is a lot easier because you don't waste time trying to find papers to coordinate and to mix and match um, I do like to throw in one or two different ones just to give the paper a different, the mini a different look, you know, it's not so stylized, but it's much easier if the papers do match. Then another styled label, um, the pink is the original one and then this cardstock at the bottom has been hand cut and perfect pulled. I perfect pulled it with some green, I don't know if you can see. That brown paper is an IKEA paper bag that I cut up. And you can see once again I didn't stick this down so that it can just be 3D. And then the last um, page here is held closed with a little bulldog clip that's attached to a swivel clasp that is attached to the spiral of the book. So it opens like this. There are two tags in this pocket, um, all pink and um, salmon and orange. I took the colours off this paper and I've just, uh, this is a little sticker from the Webster's pages that says thankful. And this is a artsy, a paper artsy stamp old lady and uh, the elephants I love the elephants I was born in Africa so elephants are very special especially if you've seen them in the wild they are amazing creatures okay and this is just a small concertina little booklet a little fragment here with a piece of paper the little birdie a tiny concertina booklet um, this green is basic grey I can't even remember if it's from the same curio range or an older piece and then the back over here is just cereal cardstock that's been painted with peel paint distress stains amazing the distress stains are amazing on on chipboard it's an ama it's an amazing feeling uh, and the way the colors go onto it are just too amazing really well worth getting some. Um, I've made this into like a concertina pocket so that I could get two tags in here. I did this on Ustream on Zephy Scraps and then I just covered the one side of the cereal box with paper. This was a, a card stock. The, the cereal box was this craft inside. This was from Pasta. I think this was Barilla. I'm advertising. So they have very nice boxes. <laughs> Okay, and um, another little journaling spot that's been distressed. And um, that's it. This was just a random piece of ribbon that was lying on my desk, so it doesn't match 100%. But it's here. And it's maybe a little bit too long. Okay, so this can close this will close this like so and um, the last tag the same as the front this was a little bit of a disaster I used crackle paints and so on but I'm, I'm not really too stressed okay girls uh, thanks for sharing hopefully I'll get um, the other videos done in the course of this week I've got lots of projects on the go and uh, quite a few deadlines to meet so I'm a little bit stressed but um, that's the Curio Mini and I'd love to hear what you think about it and um, so leave me a comment. Bye!